Daisy returned home and noticed that someone had broken into her apartment and stolen her diamond necklace. The police arrive and question three neighbors. Greg was painting his ceiling. He was wearing headphones, so he couldn't hear anything. Bianca was hiking with her bestie all day long. They've just returned home. Glenda only went out once to walk her dog. She thinks she heard some weird noises from Daisy's apartment. Who's lying? Greg, take a look at his ceiling. Does it look freshly painted? Busted. Daisy works as a manager at the local circus. Her task is to prepare their new location for future performances. She arrives at the spot, takes a look at the stage, and freaks out. Why? Take a closer look at the sign. It says citrus instead of circus. Daisy goes to her favorite cafe to have lunch. There, she sees these three people. One of them was Poison. Can you guess who? The third guy didn't even touch his cappuccino. He must be just sleeping. The second lady is awake. She has some cappuccino mustache, nothing criminal. But take a look at the first guy. He's wearing glasses, so we can't say for sure whether he's awake or not. Meanwhile, his phone is ringing in his pocket, but he shows no reaction at all. That's suspicious. So he's the poisoned one. After lunch, Daisy enters one of the dressing rooms and finds their star, Clown Roger, unconscious on the floor. Daisy calls the police. They arrive very quickly and question three witnesses. Bob says he was just walking by. He has never seen this clown before. Mia says that she's a huge fan of Clown Roger, and she's very sorry. And Nick says that he's just a handyman. The circus hired him to fix problems with electricity. Who's lying? Bob. He said he had never seen this actor, but he's wearing a t-shirt which has a print of Clown Roger's face. So Bob must be his crazy fan. Daisy visits another star of the circus, Dave. He's a talented acrobat. Dave has just received a mysterious basket of candies with a letter. The sender is unknown. The letter says, Dear Dave, thank you very much for your talent. I really like you. Let's go out sometime. Best wishes. There's no name on the letter. Dave has no clue who it could be from. Luckily, there's a short little riddle. 3rd of August, 4th of February, 2nd of May, 3rd of December, and 6th of October. Can you help him crack the code? The 3rd of August means the third letter in the word August, which is G. The fourth letter of February is R. The second letter of May is A, and so on. So the name of Dave's secret admirer is Grace. The circus company throws a corporate party. They ask all employees to wear some Halloween costumes. So Daisy heads to the shopping mall to get herself one. But they only have three options to choose from. A witch outfit, a mermaid costume, and a vampire costume. Can you help her make the best choice? Take a closer look at the witchy costume. This tag says it's made out of paper, so it's a bad idea to wear it at a party. As for the mermaid costume, the tail is torn at the back. So, Daisy should pick the vampire outfit. Daisy arrives at the party. Everyone's dancing in their Halloween costumes. But one of these four people is a real vampire. Can you guess who?
Let's see. The guy on the left is drinking something red, but he has a shadow, so he can't be a real vampire. The second lady looks pretty creepy, but if you look closely at the mirror on the wall, you'll see her reflection, so we can exclude her. We can also see the reflection of the fourth guy in the mirror. Only one lady is left, so she must be the real vampire. Daisy's town has an old haunted museum. Daisy and her friends decide to spend Halloween night inside the museum to have some spooky time. As the clock strikes midnight, the portraits hanging on the walls of the museum come to life. A portrait of a lady starts screaming for some help. She tells Daisy that the former employees dare to make a fake version of her portrait. And she wants Daisy to destroy it. But Daisy takes a look at the fake portrait and spots three differences from the original. She assures the lady that it can't hold a candle to the original. Can you spot them too? The lipstick color, the pendant, and the ribbon on her hair are all different. Then Daisy goes to the cafeteria to grab some snacks. There are three options only. Which one should she choose? Take a look at the date that's written on the potato chips bag. According to it, the chips expired in 1924, so that's a pass. The small note below the ice cream says it's earwax flavored. Nobody wants to taste that. So Daisy should pick the popcorn. Daisy keeps on walking and comes across a building. There are two ladies in two different apartment windows. Both seem to be busy with household duties, but one of them is dangerous. Can you guess who? The second lady is just getting rid of pests. There's nobody in the room and she's wearing a mask. But take a look at the lady on the left. There's an open bleach bottle next to the food she's cooking. Oh, no thank you. Daisy keeps on walking and faces something curious. It's a five-letter word that is under you. If you remove its first letter, then it's over you. If you remove its first and second letters, it's all around you. What is it? It's just a chair. The next morning, Daisy arrives at the circus. She finds out that Dave was kidnapped by a mad scientist. He locked Dave in his lab in one room and put a zombie in another room. Daisy arrives at the lab to rescue Dave. She sees these two doors with two signs. Only one of them tells the truth, and another one lies. The sign on the first door says, Dave is here and the zombie is in the next room. And the sign on the second door says, the zombie is in one room, and Dave is in the other. So, where's Dave? Dave is in the second room. If door 1 tells the truth, then door 2 is true too. This is contrary to the terms of the game. Daisy rescues Dave. They escape through a long corridor together. Soon, the corridor splits into three tunnels. They are signed West, East, and South. The pair also see some weird inscriptions on the wall. Which corridor should they choose? Daisy and Dave should tilt their heads and look at the inscription upside down. This way, it reads South. The guys keep on walking and find a door. But it's locked. They need to enter a four-digit password. Luckily, there's a hint nearby. It's a note that has four images. Can you help Daisy and Dave crack the code?
Each digit corresponds to the number of colors of the objects. This clover only has one color. The Santa hat has two. The banana has one. And finally, the rainbow has seven. So the code is 1217. Daisy and Dave open the door and escape from the lab. They find themselves in the middle of an island. The guys hit the road and drive to the pier, where they face these three bridges leading to the mainland. Sharp rocks and glass cover the first bridge. The second one is swarming with venomous snakes. Hot orange lava is boiling on the third road. Which route should they choose? They're driving an open-top car, so it's dangerous to choose the snakes. The first bridge will destroy their tires, so they should pick the third route. The ocean will soon cool the lava down and turn it into stone. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.